the next one which I really like is um, if we come back to this product and I really like this product so I'm going to look at a year and I'm going to can I get this to high, there you go cool so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to zoom in now I don't know how I've done this but somehow I managed to do it there we go that's what I'm after okay oh my god I want to keep these lines on when I hover over this buy box what you're going to see and if I do this print screen uh, can I go paint Okay, I'm going to keep that for a second, but I'll come back and let me just go. I want to make a copy of this. Voila. Okay, so let's keep that and I can close that down. So, what I'm going to do is right here is these lines that you're looking at. Now, this is super, super important. And if you don't know about this, I love this because what is Keeper showing you? Keeper is showing you when the buy box owner changes. That's it. And it's super amazing. Um, and if I kind of let you into a little trick if it's orange i.e. the same color as the amazon line it means amazon's the buy box owner if it's a different color it changes so i don't get me wrong i'm not too sure about the dark reds and the blue i think it might be like fba and new but what you can see here is that when these lines happen it's the seller of the buy box changing so let's just kind of go through so if i can i do this i'm going to kind of uh, there we go. So I'm going to kind of leave that there. Oh no, no, I can't do that. So look, we can see. I don't know if I can get it going. No, it doesn't show me. So uh, mine stays on for some weird reason. So here is Amazon. Now, if I just kind of flick back, so we've got one here. So we're saying that's Amazon. So this is Amazon. So that's not a problem. I'm going to do a nice little red line, Amazon. And then around here, this is FBA. And remember, this is a nice blue line. And then we're going to say this line is here, so this is the third dot in, so one, two, three, this is FBA, so it's a different FBA seller, which is interesting. So we've got another FBA seller here, and it's got another dot. Now, if I just check, because uh, Keeper's really good at doing this. So this is Toy Monster, and then this is another different seller. So that's really interesting. So what we're seeing here is that this is one FBA seller. This is another FBA seller that's got it. And now we're going to say this is going to be another FBA seller. So I'm looking just before this kind of peak. Peak. Number one brand for you. So we've got now three different FBA sellers who have had the buy box on this product. And we can see that because of this line, how Keeper's showing us that this is changing. And then we're going to say it's going to be back to another Keeper, another FBA seller. And then finally, it's going to go back to Amazon. So let's just check that. So it should be here. This is going to be another FBA seller. Yep, Toy Monster. So that's Toy Monster here. And then it should go back to Amazon. No, FBA. Back to Amazon. And that's really interesting. So now, when you're doing your sourcing, and a big, 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 big question, like super, super important is, is Amazon sharing the buy box? Hover over this buy box icon right here. I'm just going to highlight that there. And what you're looking at is these lines. And you're looking for the same color as the Amazon line. So one two, three, let's do that one, let's do that one, let's do that one. And what I'm just going to kind of, and I, sorry for my really bad drawing, what I'm going to do is just say, look, Amazon owns the buy box. So, And remember what we talked about. We talked about before where Keeper records a change in information. So this is Amazon here. Amazon's now come on the buy box, and now Amazon's on the buy box. And Amazon owns the buy box up until this point. And then again, Amazon's taken the buy box to this point. Sorry, just gone a little bit further. And then again, Amazon on the buy box to this point. Amazon on the buy box to this point. Amazon on the buy box to this point. And so on and so on. And Amazon's got a bit here. And then Amazon on the buy box to this point. So for this product, at initial glance, we might say, oh my God, here's the buy box prices all across here. And Amazon are pretty much on them all the time. Amazon have that buy box. They are literally taking that. But when we hover over the buy box information, we now see that actually Amazon has only really taken this buy box, this part, this part, this part, this part, this part, this part, and this part. So we say, my God, Amazon is like really sharing this product. Actually, I'd probably say Amazon has taken this product less than 50% of the time. So if you were thinking about selling this product, you could look at this and say, I can see from this keeper information that I can actually sell this. I can I can buy this, ship it in, put it at 60 pound, compete against Amazon, 
and they're going to give me the buy box and when they do take the buy box off me they're probably going to keep it for about eight days and then they'll rotate back around again that's what keepers telling me and the one thing which i learned from doing the um api data is or this is really advanced stuff like trying to amalgamate this all into a graph is super difficult like we couldn't, couldn't even get anywhere near and there are a lot of other companies out there you know who who have graphs but they still haven't managed to do this and so this is why i would say if you are going to do amazon arbitrage you need to have keeper and because you just can't get this level of detail in any other tool even if we're using the api data it's just so much and they put it into a really really nice method so this little top tip I really love, by the way. So hopefully you found that one really good because that's about does Amazon actually share the buy box? So you can see there, and then also you can see you know, how long the other sellers have it and how quick they're rotating. Hopefully you found this really useful, really informative. Um, please, 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 if you like it, give me a big like. I love like, or give me a love heart, honestly, love, love hearts. Um, and also drop some comments, drop comments down below. Even if you just liked it, hey Tom, love this, thank you so much. Um, or if you've got questions, please let me know, drop them down the bottom. So for me, Thomas Parkinson, Fast Track FBA, thank you very much.